Uh, this is a bit of a strange week for releases. It looks like almost everything is dropping on Friday. Let, let me explain. <laughs> Welcome to The Heat Check. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and this week kicks off with some love for the ladies. Puma is dropping the Defy, which is actually a pretty good looking sneaker. A lot of the Puma stuff has been a little wild for the ladies, I'll say, but these look more like a traditional tennis shoe, and I like it. They are releasing in two different colorways over at Finish Line. You can grab a pair of those for only $90 on Thursday. All right, one of the shoes that I've been wanting to get my hands on, but I haven't yet, is the Nike Air Zoom Pegasus 35. These dropped a few weeks ago in the regular version, but it looks like Nike is releasing a premium version for women, you can grab those in vast gray or in oil gray, and those will cost you $135. Jumping over to basketball, my favorite sport. It looks like Nike has a few LeBron soldier shoes lined up. First, we have the soldier 12 in a light bone colorway. I played a little bit in these, and they're actually pretty good. Those will cost you $130. You can also get the soldier 12 SFG, and that one is going to drop in a midnight navy colorway. Those are $10 extra and will cost you $140 if you want to put those on the court. Jumping ahead to Friday, we have some casual kicks for you to rock with that olive colorway of the Nike Flyknit Trainer. The Flyknit Trainer has been getting a lot of love this year, and you can grab those for $150. Jumping over to the three stripes, Adidas is dropping the edge bounce in three different colors. Even though these are for women, the carbon, the orange, and the white, they are pretty dope. Ladies, you can grab those for $100. On the premium side of things, Nike has two releases that they're calling the Bio Beige Collection. Again, this is a release just for the ladies, and you'll see that on the Nike Blazer Low as well as the Nike Air Force One. The Blazer Low will cost you $95. Now, if you want to opt for that Air Force One or Uptowns as they call them in New York, those will cost you $100. Oddly enough, Jordan Brand is actually taking it pretty chill this weekend and only has one big release lined up, and that is the Jordan Why Not 0.1 signature shoe for Russell Westbrook. The official color is black, but the nickname is Masters, and the shoe is a dedication to his brother and his educational pursuits. You can grab those for $125. All right, on the runner side, or rather classic runner side of things, we have a New Balance 990p4. These are gonna be dropping in silver and really represent a very distinct time in sneaker history. Those will cost you $190 for a very seriously nicely well-made pair of running sneakers. Now, if you are a Golden State Warriors fan or if you just love basketball like most of us, then Under Armour has you covered this weekend. They are scheduled to release the Curry 5 in two additional colorways that haven't really been seen a lot. You can grab those for $130. All right, keeping basketball on the brain, we have the Nike Kobe AD NXT 360. This is definitely one of the brightest colorways I've seen of this shoe so far, and those will cost you 200. On the other side of the spectrum, we have Paul George's new signature shoe, the Nike PG2 in olive. Now these have been getting a little bit of burn around the internet, and you can grab those for $110. All right, for the final crop of releases on Friday, we have the Nike ACG Dog Mountain. Now, I'll be honest, this isn't a shoe that I have seen before, but I do really like the look of this shoe. They are dropping in a mint and in a black colorway, and the pricing isn't bad either at only $110. I wasn't planning on it, but I think I may grab myself a pair of these. All right, now jumping ahead to Saturday, the releases are pretty slim, and to be honest, all we have lined up are three Air Max sneakers. We have the Air Max 1, the Air Max 95, and the Air Max 90. All three of these silhouettes have some Nike love in the nickname and feature some part of the brand over the upper, whether it's the branding of the name, old school shoe boxes, all three of these pairs represent some part of Nike marketing. If you want to grab those, the Air Max 1 is 140, the Air Max 95 is 170, and finally, the Nike Air Max 90 is $140. All right, so that's going to do it for the show today. As always, I just wanted to cover the things that I thought you guys would definitely care about. Make sure you check the links down below for more information on all the sneakers that I mentioned in the video today. I am Jacques Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line. And as always, guys, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Peace.